Today, we are going to be talking about Dan Bilzerian officially filing bankruptcy and then fleeing the USA. Make sure you stay until the end so you don't miss out on how this self-proclaimed king of Instagram fell off of his throne. You'll be absolutely shocked. King of Instagram? His Instagram paints a picture of a lifestyle that would be displayed next to the definition of hedonism in a dictionary. He has a constant throng of bikini-clad beauties on hand, whether he's at the beach, flying in his private jet, or even just lying in bed. At a glance, Dan Bilzerian seems to have it all. His wealth seems immense, affording him the luxury of a life of constant jet-setting and pleasure-seeking. He is known to have made his fortune by playing high-stakes poker, and it's the story that he sticks with regardless of who he speaks to regarding the source of all of his wealth. However, his story has come under scrutiny lately from actual poker experts who have criticisms ranging from the fact that Bilzerian just isn't that good of a poker player to the fact that there just isn't as much money to be made in poker as he claims to have made. Those who have tried to trace the actual source of his wealth have discovered that Dan's father, Paul Bilzerian, served prison time for crimes associated with his activities as a corporate raider. Though he was ordered to pay a $62 million civil judgment for securities fraud, Paul Bilzerian only paid $3.7 million. The whereabouts of the rest of his fortune, well, that remains a mystery, but it is not hard to assume that he may have taken steps to utilize offshore and domestic trusts to protect any remaining assets for his family. It may be easy to assume that Instagram celebrity armed with a private jet, a flock of attractive women always at his side, and several armloads of someone else's money may not have any problems. Envying someone in this situation is more fascinating in the context of the COVID era, where people have had to endure isolation for many months now. But that is how our society trains you to think. But at least in the case of Dan Bilzerian, this thinking is wrong. For the CEO of Ignite, a hopeful cannabis brand, the COVID-19 summer of 2020 has presented many challenges. And if the last month is any indication, the autumn may be worse. Winter is coming company in a worse financial crisis. Analyzing Ignite's financial records for the past six months, YouTuber Tom Nash believes that the company is in a disastrous financial position and could see it close down in just two weeks. Recently, Dan Bilzerian, who is Ignite's founder and CEO, has been posting pro-Armenian nationalist tweets that have left everyone wondering what's really going on with Dan and his company. According to a report by Forbes some months ago, it was revealed that Ignite Company lost a staggering $50 million in 2019, which was seen as lavish spending by the CEO. Ignite International brand specializes in several products, including electronic cigarettes, cannabis, and more. Dan Bilzerian, however, has rejected such rumors as evidenced by his recent tweets. In one of his tweets, he had mentioned Uber as an example to draw a parallel and counter bankruptcy speculation about the company. Criticized by many content creators in the past, Dan Bilzerian was allegedly called the man baby of Instagram by YouTuber Fillion. His source of funding is the company Ignite International Limited, of which he is the CEO and founder. However, recently it has been said that much of his life is based on lies. $50 million There has been widespread speculation that the internet celebrity and self-proclaimed king of Instagram, Dan Bilzerian, is a man with many troubles as his company Ignite continues to drown in bankruptcy. The poker player turned internet personality could be fleeing the country as his company stares down the barrel at closure in just a few weeks. Dan Bilzerian, infamously known as the king of Instagram, is an American venture capitalist with 32.5 million followers on the platform. He is also an amateur poker player and has claimed to have received an honorable discharge from the U.S. Navy SEALs after completing his training. On Instagram, many of his posts depict his extravagantly rich lifestyle. The first blip came with the news in July that Ignite was $50 million in the red, a financial hardship that forced Bilzerian's company to agree to end the lease on his Los Angeles mansion, rented by the company, even as he was yachting around the Mediterranean. Meanwhile, slipping from $1.44 Canadian to about $0.36, cents, the company's shares began to tank with their most recent trading. However, the biggest lesson of the year 2020 is that it is a constant struggle. And so late last week, news broke that Canmart, a distribution company that moves Ignite branded products in Canada, where Bilzerian's firm is publicly traded, was ending its relationship with Ignite. Dan Bilzerian going bankrupt, facing legal troubles. 
Bloomberg had reported back in July that former Ignite president Curtis Hefferman has filed a suit against the company, claiming that he was fired for refusing to approve Dan Bilzerian's extravagant spending. The company has not been in the best financial shape and received $1.2 million in Paycheck Protection Program loans from the U.S. government in 2019. It has been widely believed that the CEO's extravagant spending has been the cause for Ignite International LTD reporting a loss of over $50 million just last year. The company currently has more liabilities than assets, and Dan Bilzerian has been allegedly funneling investors' money to fuel his expensive lifestyle. In the video that can be seen at the end of this article, YouTuber Jamari talks about all of these issues and also questioned Dan Bilzerian's poker skills. The 39-year-old has widely been said to be a below-average poker player and has been criticized for his Casanova-like lifestyle, especially with younger women. Moreover, the company that he founded is basically bankrupt and at the same time owes over $40 million to investors. Presidential Changes it is important to note that Ignite is a consumer-focused brand that doesn't really seem to sell all that much. The company had reported $1.6 million in sales in 2020 in its most recent financial statements, which is basically $600,000 in actual profit. Add to that the news that Ignite shuffled company leadership again last month. John Schaefer, who recently put in time at cannabis unicorn MedMen, took over as president on September 1st, Ignite's third president since June which paints a picture of a drowning business sinking further into havoc. Schaefer took over from Lester Lee, who remains on the company's board of directors and whose term as president lasted just shy of three months. Lee, whose previous ventures include selling something called Energy Gum, Lee was appointed as president in early June when he replaced Curtis Hefferman. As Ignite initially claimed in a press release, Hefferman exited on June 8th to pursue other opportunities. Now that's somewhat true, however, Hefferman is currently pursuing a lawsuit against Ignite for, among other things, firing him as retaliation for pushing back against what he characterized as Dan Bilzerian's wonton and wild spending on the company credit card. At least with Schaefer, there appears to be some continuity, who boasts of stops at grocery chain Wegmans and pharmaceutical giant Bears agricultural wing, in addition to a year at MedMen, which in itself is a bit of an ongoing dumpster fire. According to his LinkedIn, Schaefer's been with Ignite for more than a year, joining the company as chief operating officer in August of 2019 after his stint with MedMen, which he did depart before the company collapsed. As it transpired, Heffernan wasn't on the job very long himself. He took over from Jim McCormick in November of 2019, but he has the distinction of being Ignite's second longest tenured president. Woo! Okay, four presidents in less than a year. What is next for Ignite, other than searching for the next future ex-president? Well, that is an excellent question. End of the road for Ignite? Ignite failed to file its Q2 financials on time, finally releasing it two and a half months after the deadline, which still raises a lot of questions. However, they finally released it so nobody could find them. Not on their website, which is pretty appalling. What kind of public company doesn't put its own financials on its own website? That is very unheard of. So they throw it on some website, which is really hard to get to. Ignite had started the year with $15.1 million and ended the second quarter with $5.8 million. Now this implies that it burned more than $9 million in just six months, translating into a million and a half every month. Essentially, Dan Bilzerian is a trustafarian, but given the outcome of his own business ventures, he's not a very smart one. In addition to his trust fund, Bilzerian has been using his company Ignite International Brands as something of a personal treasure trove. There seem to be a lot of online personalities gleefully covering Bilzerian's deception. Perhaps it's because they loathe his character, or perhaps it's to throw it in all of his followers' faces. The source of his money doesn't matter as much as the illusion that he sold. The truth doesn't matter as long as this illusion is still standing strong. And if Dan is a master at anything, it is at building this illusion for men and women. While you are here, go ahead and click on one of the other videos on your screen and we'll see you there.